Hey guys, what is up? It's me here, Jay Barnpool. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the DC Icon Superman from Wave 3 of the DC Collectibles DC Icons Wave. So, yes guys, um, this figure is pretty decent. I do have to say, it is, it's the only Superman figure I have. And, uh, yeah, I think it's personally a pretty good one. Uh, for the most part, uh, there are some problems I have with this figure. Like, um, for example, like the fists are a little bit too big and there's something a little bit wrong with the face. But, uh, yeah, first we'll get into the packaging and then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself and its accessories. So here is the packaging right here, guys. And, you know, uh, I think it's a pretty cool packaging. It's pretty much the same packaging as we've gotten before. Uh, you know, uh, we've gotten this one. This is just, this is actually the wave after. So, you know, I'll show you guys from wave one. Uh, you know, it hasn't really changed that much at all from wave one. This is Batman's packaging, you know. It doesn't change that much at all. And, you know, we can obviously show that throughout the DC icons here. It's like the Flash and, you know, Black Adam. So, you know, the packaging has not really changed that much. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same. It's got the DC Comics logo here. You know, you can just see DC Comics. It has DC icons with the, um, whatever the figure is based on. So, it's Superman for this one. It has Superman in there, and it has DC Collectibles down there. They're the ones that make it. Choking hazards here. Just don't choke on your figures. Just don't. <laughs> uh, number 10 here, it says it's number 10 in the series. And, you know, it has a nice little printed Superman thing here. So, uh, yeah, that's that side. And on the other side, it has uh, number 10. It has a Superman little logo thing there. And it says down here, it's Superman, and it's from the Man of Steel comics. So, yes, and it also says that in a different language there, so, uh, yeah. And because this is in Wave 3, you can see on the back it's advertising uh, Superman, Aquaman, Atomica, and Harley Quinn. So, uh, yeah, and uh, down here it says it's sculpted by, it says it's sculpted by Eric Sosa. Or, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, Eric Sosa. And it says that it's designed by Evan Ray, who I think has designed all the icons, so, yeah. Uh, let's just get into the figure's accessories, and then we will we, we will take a closer look at that figure's head sculpt. So yeah, we'll take a look at the accessories first. So this figure comes with two pairs of interchangeable hands. It comes with a pair of fisted hands, uh, which kind of look a little weird. Now the palms here kind of look a bit too fat, like they kind of look really fat, and I'm not quite sure why they look so fat. Now I think we've seen this... Uh, with the other icons as well, so, uh, yeah, we'll just take out Batman's hand as well, and, uh, you know, I think, I think it might be the same problem with icons figures, I'm not quite sure, no, it's not, so I, I think it is just on the Superman figure, so, uh, yeah, uh, this Superman figure kind of has a bit of a fat, fat fist there, but anyway, it also comes with a pair of gripping hands as well, so, uh, yeah, you know, looks pretty decent, these gripping hands. So, uh, yeah, and the biggest accessory it comes with is this, uh, I think it's Quinn, I don't know, it's this robot thing from Krypton, apparently, and, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure about this character and what it is, but, you know, uh, it does have some pretty nice details of paint throughout, uh, it has this bronze-ish paint, uh, sort of just, uh, in, in throughout the sculpts and everything, and it has a nice translucent plastic, it uh, doesn't have that much articulation. Basically, it articulates here at the sort of stand thing that it comes with. And by the way, this is a clear stand that it comes with. It's a pretty nice looking stand. So, you know, uh, it's a pretty cool stand. It comes with it just pegs in there. Of course, it uh, it swivels on there. Uh, no swiveling here. Uh, there is a sort of swivel at the head and a tiny bit of pivot. Not really. Uh, Kind of. You could say it's just a bit of pivot. But uh, anyway, and then the arms just swivel. So, uh, yeah, not really that much articulation, but then again, it's just his robot accessory. So, yeah, let's just get into the actual figure itself now, shall we? And here's my first complaint about the figure, and that's the head sculpt. <laughs> so, yes, this head sculpt is pretty decent for the most part. Uh, I like how they have this little hair strand, you know, you know just stranding down. And, you know, I like how the whole head kind of looks as a whole. I like the way they sculpted the head and all the hair. And I like the skin tone, you know, I think the skin tone looks pretty decent for the most part. Uh, except the ears have this weird paint in them. These ears kind of have this weird sort of, I don't know, it's, it's like a reddish sort of paint, but it's like a light red. It's, kind, it's really weird. I don't know why they painted that inside his ears. But anyway, uh, these eyes are my main concern of this figure. 
is the eyes here. They kind of look really weird, these eyes. I'm not sure why. Uh, they kind of, it looks better on camera, but uh, it, they really look weird. They got something, it looks like he's got like some sort of eye problem or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, this they just introduced this in Wave 3 where they just popped a double pull peg. So they just popped a double ball peg in there, so, you know. So yeah, yeah, it's a double ball peg in there now. So uh, yeah, they just they just popped that in wave three, where they popped the double pull peg ball pegs inside her. So uh, yeah, I think you might need to be, be careful with this uh, Superman strand here. I have not knocked it yet, so I have not broken it off yet. But I feel that that bit's a little bit brittle, and it might end up like my flash, where uh, those pieces actually break off, and all of them are broken off. By the way, so uh, yeah, that's a bit of a Bad design there, but anyway, um, this, we're looking at Superman for now. Uh, his S logo looks pretty clean for the most part. His S logo does look pretty clean. I like the red and yellow paint inside there. It does look really nice, and it's a nice glossy sort of paint. So it sort of like reflects off of light, as you guys can see there. So yeah, and looking on the back of the cape, uh, you guys can see that this Superman logo... Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, there is a bit of paint scuffage here. I think that is just from where. I do not think that that was on the figure when I opened it up. Uh, yeah, but this cape for the most part is pretty decent, you know. I do like this cape. Uh, there is a bit of scuffing here, and that is from the packaging, by the way, guys. The scuffing here is from the packaging. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice material, you know. And looking down, uh, he does have his underpants, which look kind of weird, actually. Um, because uh, these legs are a separate piece to those to that underwear. It kind of looks a little weird. And the paint's a little off from the paint up here. So, uh, yeah, but they did paint that belt in pretty nicely. They have this gold here, gold paint, and, you know, the blue bit of red on there, too. So, yeah, really nice, really nice painting and sculpt work by DC, on DC Collectibles' part. It uh, does kind of look a little weird down here, though. And as you move down, you know, it has nice sculpted calves here, you know, and peg holes on the feet. So, yeah. I guess we can move into the articulation now. Uh, his head is on a double pull bull peg. However, uh, that still does not really allow him to look up that much. And this is a flying character, so that is a big problem for this character. Uh, you can't have him looking straight on. Uh, I think they do need to start using uh, a ball hinge joint, a uh, single ball peg with a ball hinge on it. I think they need to start using that. Uh, I know they don't want to be an exact copy of Marvel Legends, but that would highly improve the head movement, as I always say throughout my DC Icons reviews. Uh, anyway, uh, that double ball peg allows it to go up that much and down that much. Uh, there's also a bit of head swiveling and pivot. Uh, the arms are on ball hinge joints as well, so they swivel around, and they go in and out, so they go outwards that much, and they go inwards that much. Uh, there is also a bicep swivel in there, along with double jointed elbows that bend in that much. Uh, it's a little more than 90 degrees, a little better than 90 degrees, but anyway, uh, both of the wrists have a swivel in them and a hinge that moves down that much and up that much. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this has the standard DC Icons joint here where they have this uh, swiveling uh, pivot side to side and a single crunch here is not even really applicable here because uh, this joint's a little weird here, this diaphragm joint. It doesn't really move forward that much and it barely moves back at all. Uh, and then moving the single ab crunch it moves forward that much and it moves back that much so putting them all together he moves forward that much and he moves back that much so uh yeah it's kind of weak but anyway uh moving on to his legs uh his legs kick forward that much and they move backwards that much uh, they go outward that much no thigh swivel however you can sort of swivel it here at the ball at the ball peg uh, there is a double-jointed knee that bends in that much. So, you know, uh, no boot calf swivel, but the ankles... Sorry, I just hit this down. Uh, the ankles hinge downwards that much, and they also hinge upwards that much, and they have an ankle pivot. And two peg holes on the feet, as I said before. So, yeah, I think they really would have improved this figure if they pop, pop some calf rotation down there. Uh, but because there is no calf swivel or, uh, no, no calf rotation or thigh swivel, uh, I really do think that, 
uh, the figure is lacking in the leg articulation there. So, yeah, we'll just get this figure into a cool pose now, and then we'll end off the video. Well, rip in pieces. I broke my Mayfix stand. Rip. Okay, sorry guys, I'm not going to be able to do the outro, which is what I thought. I was going to do a outro where he was like this on the Mayfix stand, but my Mayfix stand broke, so, yeah, rip. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. And if you guys did, please make sure to hit like and subscribe, guys. Uh, really would help out my channel a lot, so yes. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, it is Jay Pineapple signing, sorry, let's just get this figure to hang up, it is Jay Pineapple signing out.